Hello everyone, welcome back. We will look at interfaces in this section. What is an interface? And it helps with complete abstraction. All methods have to be abstract. The keyword used is interface and not class. To create a child object of an interface, you have to use the implements keyword instead of the extends. So I think this is very high level definition of it. But let's actually try to understand why do we need an interface. Right. So when it says complete abstraction, what it means is we already have an abstract class. In an abstract class, we use the abstract keyword where the methods are abstracted. What is an interface? Why is it required? Because already an abstract class provides the abstraction that we need. Why do we need an interface? So let's look at that. So let's look at a problem statement where we have a service provider, a service provider who is someone providing APIs which others can call and use. Then there is a consumer. The consumer is the one who is going to use these APIs. So now these are two different teams which are available and there is a common interface specification that is available. Right. So this is how typically teams operate multiple teams across different locations. How they operate is they specifically agree on an interface specification. They will say that okay these are the methods which have to be developed for this particular project. They'll write it down in a document and the service provider would write those methods and implement them while the consumer will start using it. So this is what is an interface. So Java basically has done this using the interface. So an interface as we saw earlier is it hides complete abstraction. That means the first step is has an agreed upon template which has to be implemented. Now let's see how to do this interface in a hands on way. So let's look at this simple program to explain what is an interface. Have an interface A. This is the definition for the interface. As you can see there is no class, public class or anything. The keyword is interface. And then you have A. Public void display semicolon. That means it's an abstract. Again public void calc. This is again an abstract method. These are two methods which are available. Now anyone who wants to use this interface, let's assume this is the common interface specification agreed between the two teams. You have a class trial which is implementing this A. Implementing means it has to give definition for these functions. So now if you do public void display, right, the same function, this, this method has been overridden. Public void display system.out.println value equal to calculate. Initially I have value of calculate. And then now if you look at it, the function calc, which is the second function within the interface is also implemented here. Public void calc, calculate is equal to calculate plus one. That means whatever be the value, I am incrementing by one. So this is a class called trial, which has implemented the interface. Now in the main program, it is very simple. I am going to create an object of the type trial and I will say x dot calculate, which is the class instance variable, I am setting it to 100, x dot calc which would have made it 101 and then I have x dot display which is going to display the current value of calc uh, or calculate which is going to be 101. So let us run this one. You see the value is 101. So this is an implementation for an interface. So some key things to note right from an abstract class to interface. In the abstract class, we use the keyword abstract class A. Now we are saying interface A. That's the difference. Second is in the abstract class, we can have abstract as well as non-abstract methods. In the interface, you can have only abstract methods. Third, if you look at it, within the for the interface, we use the implements keyword. But in an abstract class, we use the extends keyword to implement that abstract class. But in any case, both in case of an abstract class as well as an interface, in both the cases, you cannot create an object of this type interface A because there is no definition for these methods. So Java would throw an error. So you cannot create an object of an interface. Uh, similarly, you cannot create an object of an abstract class. Both you cannot create. Now if you look at it, you have implemented the interface. For this, you can create object. So this is an interface. Now we saw why an interface is required in Java, right? Uh, how it is different from an abstract class and how to implement that in action. So we have seen all these three things. Now let's get on with the next one. 
So some key points to note about an interface, right? Interfaces cannot have constructors. This is pretty obvious because you cannot create an object of the type interface. You cannot instantiate an interface. So naturally you cannot have constructors within the interface. No private or protected, only public, right? Because if you create private, there is no use because that method cannot be implemented if you do a private. Similarly, no protected because you are not creating a subclass, you are implementing an interface. So you are not going to extend interface. So given that situation, only public access specifier is allowed. Every variable is an interface in an interface is static and final, right? Every variable in an interface is static and final. What does it mean? You can create instance variables or class variables within a interface, but you have to initialize it. That would be the static and final value. You cannot change it. Let's see. So we have a variable within the interface int calculate. So I've deleted it from here. I have moved it here. Now, if I run it, it will throw an error because you cannot just have a variable. It has to be initialized. So let's run this. Yes, it has thrown an error. Now you can initialize the value for this variable. So I'll say equal to 10. Now, if I run this program, it still would throw an error because this int calculate equal to 10 is going to be static final. That means this value in the interface cannot be changed. So you have given int calculate equal to 10, but in the place where it has been implemented, we are doing calculate equal to calculate plus one, right? So this is not allowed. You cannot change the value which is defined within the interface. So let's run this. You will see the error saying that cannot assign a value to the final variable, right? So that means you cannot do this equal to plus one, right? So now if you run it, X dot calculate equal to 100. Again, in the main program, we have tried to change the value, which is not allowed for an interface. So now it will display the default value of 10 that we have initialized already. So these are the key things in an interface, right? Interface, you cannot have private. So if I change this to private, again, you will see an error. So interface variable private modifier is not allowed, right? So it has to be public so that the others can access it. Whoever is implementing the interface, it should have only abstract classes. These are some things that we have seen. You cannot modify the value, whatever is the variable which you have here. But if at all you want to change the value, it cannot be within the interface. You can have it here, right? Now, if you increment, no problem there. So it would work. We have already seen this. In this particular case, it would work. The value of calculate can be modified now. No issues, right? So it works fine. So let's get back. So every variable in interface is static and final. We have seen this. So the reason why it has to be static and final or it has to be initialized is because interface, you don't have a constructor. So given that it is static, the only way is you have to directly initialize given that you don't have a constructor. That's the reason we have this restriction. So these are some of the key points that you have an in interface, right? Now we saw why an interface is required. One of the key features of an, of an interface, having an interface in Java is it supposed multiple inheritance. Let's understand what is multiple inheritance and uh, what is the problem if you try to have it in a normal class in inheritance and why is it supported with interface and why is it not a problem if you try to implement an interface? We see this in the next section. What is multiple inheritance? Multiple inheritance is a case where you have one child class which is inheriting from more than one parent class. So how does it work? Let's look at We will get into online GDB to look at this hand. So we look at this in online GDB. So we have a parent class class one, right? Or parent one, which has a display method, which is saying system dot out dot println parent one. Similarly, we have another parent parent two, where it is display again, the same display function, which is having system dot out dot println parent two. Now there is a main class, which is trying to extend both parent one and parent two, 
right and we are creating an object of this type and when I call t dot display right so t dot display the challenge Java would have is to which implementation it has to call from so you have two parent classes and both have a common function and you are trying to display that in your child class so Java would have a confusion which one do I have to call should I call from the parent or should I call from the second parent that's the challenge Java would have so Java effectively avoided this by not supporting multiple inheritance so if at all we need such a functionality how do we do it interface provides a solution let's look at that next so let's look at the same program now implemented with the interfaces so I have interface parent one which has wide display there is no definition here it's an abstract method Similarly, interface parent2, which again has the same display method, which is again abstract. Now I'm having a multiple inheritance here. Public class main implements parent1, comma parent2. If you look at it, it was not allowed for a normal class when you try to inherit using extends keyword. But here we are implementing parent1 and parent2 here. We have a definition for display here. I am fine here. And then we are creating an object in main and then we are calling the display function. Let's run this. This would work fine in Java. So here if you look at it, this is the way you have to implement multiple inheritance in Java. Now, why did it not throw an error? Um, here, why did not Java run into the same problem it had faced during the class implementation, right? Why for interface it is working fine? The reason is when we had it as a class, we had implementations for it in both the parent classes. Parent 1 had an implementation of display. Parent 2 had an implementation of a display. So in the child function, when we did a t dot display, it had a confusion as to which is the one it had to call. But here, the challenge is avoided because interfaces do not provide any implementation. If you look at it, this is an abstract method. This is an abstract method. So when you come to main, you have to provide the implementation here in the child class. So public void display implementation is here. So when this t dot display is called, there is no confusion because Java understands that it has to call this implementation of the display. That's why it is not a problem. This is where interfaces are really helpful to implement multiple inheritance. So, on. so net net we saw what is an interface how it provides complete abstraction, why all methods have to be abstract and how we implement an interface, right? We saw that in detail. Also, we saw what are the, some of the key things, why we need an interface and some of the key things about an interface, right? That it cannot have constructors, you cannot instantiate it, you cannot have private or protected methods and every variable that is created within the interface is static final you cannot change it in any of the implementations so these are the summary things that we have seen in an interface in this section second is we saw what is multiple inheritance why it cannot be implemented in a normal class and why with an interface we can create it we also saw that thank you if you have any comments you can add it to the comment sections